What if I told you your addiction to the male gaze was taking so much spiritual energy away from you? This is why in Islam, you have to wear, it's recommended, or it shows that you have devotion towards Allah, their God, when they have a hijab. When you have the hijab, one, men are sucking energy from you. When I come, let me talk to you about myself. When I come out with makeup, my hair is like softly curls, and I have my earrings. I don't have any right now. My lip gloss, and um, I'm just walking. I definitely have heels. Yeah, they're sucking the shit out of my feminine life force. But what I'm talking about is, what if you as a woman were missing energetically so much energy from male validation? So let me tell you how male validation works for me, and then I'll just fucking let you guys come up with your own thinking. So when I'm walking, getting male validation, when I was really in the thick of it, it started weeks before that. So I first typically came up with the thought that, I'm not good enough and so then I start to self-improve and I self-improve areas typically feminine areas and then I go on public and I notice there's certain feminine things I do that attract certain men so white men are not attracted to maybe um, they're not attracted to me wearing something sexy maybe they're attracted to me wearing something feminine but my makeup's really done and then my hair is really soft that day and my skin looks so gorgeous but maybe a different man would be attracted to the fact that my lip gloss is shiny and then he'd be attracted to my ass is showing more than usual or my boobs another one would be attracted to where my boobs are showing more than usual and then another one would be attracted to um the jewelry how simple my jewelry is or some may be attracted to how flirtatious i am and then some may be attracted to other areas of who I am it's just like a very um, clear way for me to get a boost of self-esteem this self-esteem sometimes can be masked in a way that it may be taking energy from other areas so in, a, in my spirituality it's not really mine I call it energetics um, it's going to be popular in the future trust me it's gonna be one of the biggest teachings ever the United States in America all of the world will ever know it will be energetics but um, in our way of thinking and this is the natural default we have awareness of everything around us and so when you're in this frequency of like when I say and everything around us it's just you can consume information on all different levels including the metaphysical level so when you are sucking in this male validation yeah you're going to be messing up the circuits for you to hear on all levels and I posted another video about how, as a woman, you don't have to learn from humans. You can learn from everything. You can learn from your own mind. Like, so sometimes I will be looking at something and the world, words will rearrange themselves to something that I need to make a video about. That's because I'm tapped in. It's not because I am special. It's, it, it never used to happen until I started to just full on own the fact that I'm with God and I'm just doing what I'm doing for God and it's going to be bumpy, but that doesn't matter because I'm with God. I mean, who else would I would rather be with? But the male validation can be sneaky in that it stops you from being able to see the full s spectrum of what God is saying. In fact, a lot of women will cut it off. They'll cut off their sense of hearing from God because of male validation. And God means your mother, your friends, your family, your business, your health your mental health, your spiritual health, your friend's health, your community's health, your children's health. It doesn't mean all of them at the same time, but one of them will all suffer because we desire male validation. So it's like you're kind of being distracted by this drug. Now, this drug was designed because the universe wants you to procreate. So it's not going to be like, well, I'm not going to program her with a desire to procreate because I want her to be successful, whatever, X, Y, Z. That doesn't make sense. It's going to give you the desire to procreate, but in that endeavor you have to have awareness and just know that if you're doing this in a way of a drug of a of an ecstasy you're being used from the moment that drug hits the second the dopamine hits your brain the dopamine of getting a text back the dopamine of winning your ex back the dopamine of getting an attractive guy to talk to you or an attractive guy to spend money on you oh god the money 
I should have talked about this first on my channel. The money also makes you fucking drugged up. Drugged up. You might as well have taken heroin at that point. You're drugged up. This is why in ancient cultures, women were not allowed to have sex until marriage. Because then you can't be really drugged up and not be able to see that you're under a, an addiction. It's an addiction. So vice versa men, they get addicted to women too. They get addicted to women's validation. They get addicted to women's sex. They get addicted to pretty women, fighting with pretty women, trying to coerce a woman, a pretty woman, not an ugly woman, I'm talking about pretty women, into bed. They get addicted to the, the chase and the cat and mouse, the sleeping, the arguing. They get addicted to that too. They get addicted also to get, getting sex from women they don't even like. They don't even notice that they're addicted. They they will watch this and they'll be like, no, that's not true. That's not true. I know 98% of addicts, if you tell them they're addicted to something, they will tell you that's not fucking true. And with a straight face and be ready to disown you for even saying such a thing. Whole time it's fucking true. Medically, it's true. Medically, yeah, it's true. Physically, it's true. Their health is declining. Every area of their life is declining. But they'll sit there and tell you it is not true. This is not happening. So what I'm trying to say is with male value for women, because I, I can deal with women, men, you know, whatever. But women, yeah, bitch, you're on a drug. And so when you're gold digging, when you're marrying for money, when you're marrying with high standards, when you're dating men who have something to offer you, not they have something to offer anyone that they want to offer they're offering you you will get high and when you start getting high for those chemicals shut it down reduce it down to its to to what it is hormones logically he still needs to come up to the standard of a husband stay in that logic but a lot of women they don't want to do that and that's when you get fucked up because the universe knows that when you are being logical and the universe knows when you are under your high and when you start getting high the universe wants to stop that because addiction is a karmic loop and one of the greatest masters jesus i'll say that he came down to destroy any addiction and addiction really means a loop a, a, a cycle that just cannot stop going you just keep doing the same thing over and over he came to destroy that so as Jesus, as close he is, as he is to universe, it's not going to honor a loop. It's not going to honor addiction. It's not going to honor it. It's going to honor, like, honor, like a, a very, like, sensible agreement. Does that make, make sense? Like a very mindful, sensible, honest, accruent agreement, especially in the woman's part. But addiction doesn't ring well with the universe because it's, it's been trying to get rid of that for like forever. So when you as a woman make sh make sure that you you are knowing you're going to be in the prize. The the second the man is no longer going to be in the prize. They may come on my fucking channel and they say they're the prize, they're the prize, they're the prize. Okay, why are you still are talking about it? Just say it once and it's done. You don't have to keep repeating it. But now that we're removing that this man from that putting yourself there when you're being treated by the prize you're going to get high and the people who treat your prize does not mean that they're going to be good good options they may just be dopamine hitters and so men have their own thing too they have women that they don't really like but they hit the dopamine spot they hit the 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 addiction chemicals so it'll do but little do both of you know once you start hitting those addiction chemicals you may or may not be able to come out you may or may not so um i say that with because i've seen it and by the way You, as a woman, know your marriage is going to be unhappy more than before he does. You don't want to admit it. 
So also, pay attention if you're somebody who really is kind of living vicariously through other how other people see. Shut it down. Relax it. Come back to your own perspective. What do you see about yourself? Remove yourself from that. It's disgusting. It's energetically gross. Like, it's really gross to live in other people's opinion, and they would find it gross too. It's not authenticity. It's really gross, and it's going to be painful to come out, but the universe doesn't support a painless journey. It supports authenticity. So no matter what, getting back to that space of real authenticity is really, really important. And like a lot of women have a problem with this because our survival depended on us not being authentic to live, to open our own bank account in 1974, less than 50 years ago. We had to not be authentic. And that made sense. We may still have family members and neighbors and people we love and trust to still adhere to that, but that doesn't mean shit. You don't have to do that. You have to like live abo- above that. You're not supposed to be here on earth to mimic the last generation you must improve and your children must improve your thinking and then the next children have to improve that and improve of that there's nothing like that and so here's the also thing a lot of people will get mad about what i said but here's the thing you wouldn't even have gotten this far if you were really that mad really mad people they go watch sports they don't watch shit like this the really mad people they go watch fucking netflix they don't watch stuff about metaphysics bitch that's like you know that's not a normal thing to do as a woman um and so this is why i'm passionate about it and really want to perfect this teaching so it really slices through and changes this generation because it's just women just getting taken advantage of and just falling for the trap and then like literally making a bed and a home and a cocoon in there and they're just they're gonna be like peace out bitch I chose my man, where's your man? While they're being beat the fuck out and like crashed the fuck out and cheated on and lied to and manipulated and done dirty and then what, you get a fucking Louis bag? You got a Louis Vuitton and you get a, you lost your fucking mind? You lost your self-respect and that's why he keeps dogging you out. You should have came from the beginning like that. You should have became the beginning, I don't even give a fuck. If you have nothing for me, then I have nothing for you. <laughs> This ain't fucking Titanic. Stop thinking that every nigga's Jack. Okay? Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Okay? There's a reason all these Hollywood movies are all portraying women settling for a broke man. If men own Hollywood, what the fuck would you think a man would make a video about? If men are the ones owning fucking programming TV... What the fuck would you think they would make a movie about? And they're horny as fuck all the time. You think they'll make a video about how a man had to work so hard and become so rich and, and provide for her? No, bitch. No, bitch. Ah, uh, they're gonna make a movie about that that woman hated being rich and hated all this and she decided to settle for a broke man and you fell for it. Like a fucking seven year old. And maybe I'm talking to myself more than I am talking to the average person here. But really, think. Think. Just think. Think. Okay? Think. Allow yourself to think and pay attention. Okay? You may be addicted. You may be fucking addicted and that's okay, bitch. You ain't addicted to something. You're not living on planet Earth. To remove all those addictions, yes, it takes work. But, oh my God, the bliss. The bliss is not comparable. Anyways, my courses are down below. Please check them out. Um, And I will see you guys tomorrow.